Now this is a little bit of a different theme with me because today I want to talk to you about the true effects of decluttering. So over the past few years we have decluttered 80% of the things in our home. Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I have such a fun video for you. And as a little side note, after today I fixed my camera, we will finally have footage that isn't blurry or hasn't got a crack on the lens. So thank you so much for bearing with me over the past couple of videos. But I think we're finally in a good place. And today we are going to clean our entire house. Now this is a little bit of a different clean with me because today I want to talk to you about the true effects of decluttering. So over the past few years we have decluttered 80% of the things in our home. And as we started out with so much inventory, the last 20% is still a fair bit more inventory than I'd like. So don't worry, the decluttering videos are not going to end. I have some really exciting new twists coming up on how I'm decluttering that last 10%. And I filmed some already, so it won't be long. I think the next one will be up next week or the one after so make sure that you are subscribed to follow along for the journey as long as we keep going if you need some motivation today to declutter your house to make housework easier i'm hoping that you'll find it right here i have filmed so many kind of clean with me videos where i have had to spend a couple of days or eight hours or more just cleaning the entire house and getting it back to kind of normal. The main point of decluttering as much as we have is that I gave myself two hours to reset my whole house and that includes tidying up and decluttering. Now <laughs> it includes tidying up and cleaning and we are a family of five and I specifically left our whole house and I didn't do any tidying or cleaning for a week. So this is as messy as it could possibly be. And usually it would take me at least eight hours to reset my whole house. I now did it in two. Decluttering 80% of our things has essentially made our housework take 25% of the time that it used to. So if you're ready, I am just going to start in this room and jump right in. So today I want to take you along as we do all the housework in the whole house and I'm going to start with our bedroom and this is the messiest it has been. So we got some clean clothes that I'm quickly putting away that I've left on the side quite honestly and then I am stripping the bed just to get it all washed and nice and clean and you've seen me in this room so many times with clutter everywhere and like I said this is the worst that it gets. There's some cable management here and anything extra. Again I'm starting by simply getting rid of dishes and things that need to be washed and that didn't take me long at all. So moving into my toddler's room it doesn't look like this now we have organized it a little bit better and got rid of some more things since I filmed this but I had to put his clean um, bedding on and that is about it. He loves it in there. So any trash goes straight in this trash bag outside and I'm still collecting dishes. In the oldest boy's bedroom I started stripping the bed so that is what I'm continuing doing. And you can see the toys right there between the beds and that is all the toys that they really have out currently. So as I'm stripping the beds and again getting the laundry in order, I'm looking for dishes if there are any and I'm putting the toys away. That's the toy wardrobe and that is all the toys that they have. So this is also a relatively quick process. I Generally, you can see under the bed there was still something left, we'll get to that later. The trash bag is out here and I'm grabbing all the laundry from all the rooms upstairs and all the dishes in this little basket, making sure that I have everything. Then I'm going into the bathroom and quickly giving it a check 
and putting some toilet cleaner in the toilet bowl. There's really not much left to do in this upstairs toilet, but we do have the bathroom right next door. So I'm just giving it a quick little wipe with some toilet paper to get rid of any dust. There's really not that much because I generally do this on a daily basis. So nothing really builds up. And then again into the bin. I could have flushed it, but I did the toilet cleaner first. This is the bathroom. It has mud on the floor. It has another coat. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing with the coats and I'm quickly just putting away the items that were left on the side by someone in the house and finding another piece of rubbish. Then I'm grabbing this coat and I'm adding it to the coat pile which is on here on the banister. And I realized I forgot this one little lunch box and there's another piece of rubbish and here is a yo-yo attached to the hoover. This was my toddler's idea. So we can wrap that up and put it away. And once that is done, I am really done with the whole upstairs. Again, rubbish into the bin. And I think I'm about ready to start carrying everything down into the kitchen where I'm going to be putting on the laundry and putting things in the dishwasher. I realized there's a book <laughs> on the side that I forget and I'm really just putting everything back. Here is our, the rest of the house that has been left for about a week. And to some, this might seem overwhelming and really it doesn't take long to sort out. I wanted to show you this as an example of what just living and not doing anything has done to the housework. So in the living room, I'm continuing with the washing because I know that I will need this space once we have put the laundry on and it's all ready to be hung today. So I'm just putting that away and then I'm quickly just putting all the laundry away too. There was a coaster on this table left and I know exactly where they go so I can put that away. And then we're in this area of the living room is kind of my toddler's area. He's got some artwork that he likes to pin up that he's made at nursery. So that can all be stowed away. Everything has its own place. And I don't mind this for now. I do have another video coming up where I'm going through all of this again. And throughout my decluttering videos, you have seen me tackle every room bit by bit, peeling the layers of the onion. And this is our storage space where we keep things down here. Our art materials, our board games, and I've really revamped this whole section. So I'm super excited for you to see it. Here I have some gardening things because it's gardening season and they don't belong down here, but I was using it down here. Same as some of my Bible and my calculator for my budgeting. I've left those out because I was using it all this morning and it's time to put it all away. So here I'm grabbing bedding and extra laundry in here and I had my own little mess of clothes and if it's not dirty I'm putting it back into my wardrobe again. This is an easy system which is why my clothes are never in the bedroom and on the bedroom floor really. Uh, and that's what project 333 has done for me. I'm making another video on Project 333 soon where I'm going through my wardrobe again to see what's left. I'm quickly putting back items where they belong. Oops, something fell out. But everything, like I said, has a home. So it doesn't really take me that long to reset the whole house. These are, of course, quite big messes and they could be overwhelming if they were messes on top of messes, but there really only are one or two things. So here I'm going into our gardening cupboard currently and I'm putting our gardening things back. Now that should ideally not be there, but there are all things that we are using. So that is a current project that we're working on. Here in the bathroom, I'm doing the same things as upstairs and just putting everything where it belongs um, and same with any 
clothing and outdoor clothing in the hallway. We've been a little bit bad about putting these away, uh, but it's time to start a seasonal declutter. And that's why I'm working on all the coats. We do have quite a few coats, but they do need a better space. But as for decluttering, what that has done is making sure that we free up areas and storage spaces around the house. Now here's the kitchen. We got our dishes and rubbish and things that we had around. First thing, this bike needs to go outside. It keeps coming inside. And then I have all the rubbish that I've collected and it's actually a recycling day. So I'm going to take it all out. It ends up being in the house for about two weeks because that's how often everything gets collected. So I'm probably going to work on a better system for that. All the washing can go straight into our machine and I'll turn that on. Now the kitchen was really messy and really overwhelming at first, but I just decided to work in layers. I always start with the laundry and get that going and then I tackle the dishes. So once I have all the dishes collected from around the house, I can put that all in and get it going. Here I found a few things that needed decluttering also that we've left on the side. But before I tackle those things, I'm just going to quickly wash our pots and our pans that doesn't go in the dishwasher like this cast iron one and put the rest of the things away from the counter. Now I must admit we walk through the side door into our kitchen so it easily becomes a dumping ground and that is sort of the system that I need to be working on next. We have these glass canisters that we were going to use for water kefir and kombucha and we haven't got around to it so I'm storing them on top of the unit until we're actually going to use them and then putting my pot away and I'm storing that in the oven. That's kind of the best place for it. It's really heavy and I, it guarantees that if my toddler opens any of the cupboards for the pots to play with, he won't get that over him. Back in the cupboard is where I also store the hairbrush because we use it to brush hair daily and that is literally all I had to do in my kitchen. Then we have the pantry and I'm putting away a few things that were left on the counter like this olive oil. We have a ball down here that can also go outside and then some shoes that can be put away as well as umbrellas and gardening, um, a gardening tunnel that can go upstairs in the gardening cupboard. So again, I think the biggest thing I've learned is that as you declutter, you free up the space to create the designated homes for all the items. And sometimes I feel that when you have clutter and when you have items, you find that the reason why everything gets left around is because they don't truly have a home. But as you start to declutter, the space you free up can become the homes for the things that you really do want to keep. Now, we're coming out of winter and the cold season, so I can store away all of the warmer coats for everybody. Now, we are a family of five, so that's going to be a lot of coats, but they fit perfectly into my toddler's wardrobe. They aren't squished into storage boxes. They can just hang here without a problem. Moving back into the kitchen, it's time to start cleaning and that whole tidying of the whole kitchen or of the whole house rather, did not take that long. I'm just spraying down with white vinegar and water and then just wiping all the flat surfaces and I'm just wiping the outside of the oven and the tile backsplash. So this only takes me like a few minutes and giving my Berkey a little clean as well, making sure it's nice and shiny. I found that before we decluttered and everything didn't really have a home, I never got around to really cleaning more than once a week 
and this is what I would do then but it would take me so much longer to put all the items back around the house that it would be a couple of days until I got to the actual cleaning. Now I'm wiping the inside of the oven just for maintenance which is also so easy to do when you have all this extra time from not having to manage all the extra things around the house and it feels really good to be able to do this and I wanted to give you an example since you may have seen so many of my videos where I've done cleans like this and reset my house and it's been like a long video for one room like cleaning my whole kitchen for example now this don't take that long anymore so the fact that I can do a whole house video in just a short amount of time is just crazy doing my appliances wiping those down it's not a deep clean but it resets everything to such a nice and comfortable standard and in this time i also have the time to hoover and get everything nicely back to scratch so i'm starting upstairs again and working my way down because there is nothing left on the floors, even this process is so much quicker than it ever was before. It only takes a couple of minutes per room and the whole house is entirely reset. And I just wanted to kind of give you the idea of this because we don't have a super minimalist home. We really do live Fully. We really do work in our garden, we really go for walks every single weekend out in the mud and we are generally pretty messy people. Now I just got lazy here and hoovered all those crumbs up from that table but don't worry I will also clean it and wipe it down. The same process goes in this room, there is nothing left to pick up off the floor so even hoovering here is a really fast process. I sprayed all these flat surfaces and decided to wipe them off. This only took me a couple of minutes as well, including the windows and the mantle and it's just such a beautiful way to finally be able to clean and not have to just constantly pick things up and worry about the mess. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed that kind of insight. Yes, it was messy, yes, it was grimy, but you know what, we did it. So the last five minutes of those two hours, I did run back up here and just spray some surfaces and wipe those two in all of the rooms and it literally didn't take more than five minutes because there's nothing on our surfaces so i hope this video was so motivating to you and if you stayed with me this far thank you so much please give this video a like as it truly helps to support my small channel and i will see you in my next video where we are decluttering even more bye